Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Megan and welcome if you're new. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing different sewing machine mats um, that are supposed to help reduce noise and vibration. If you didn't watch my last video, as you can see, I'm in a new location. So I recently moved from my parents' house to my own apartment. So I got a two bedroom apartment and I have my own craft room. So that's really exciting. Uh, so since I'm living in an apartment, I don't want to be the type of neighbor that's super noisy. Um, unlike my neighbors upstairs where it sounds like thunder and slamming the doors and stuff. But anyways, that's off on a tangent there. So, you know, I want this room to be kind of quiet. Um, so luckily my room is right next to an elevator and an empty room, like kind of like a storage area. Um, so I don't think I have to worry about noise as much as if somebody was obviously living right next door to me. Um, so yeah, we're going to test out these mats today. Um, I'll kind of show you how they sound before I use the mats and after to kind of compare and contrast. I also want to mention that the tables that I'm using are kind of like plastic or, uh, yeah, plastic tables. So they're not the sturdiest, um, but you know, hopefully it'll reduce the vibration and everything like that. Um, so yeah, so I have bought machines or I bought mats for all three of my machines. So I have my embroidery machine behind here and I got a mat for that. I got a mat for my serger and a mat for my sewing machine. So as you guys might know, sergers are actually pretty loud. So I'm hoping at least for that one that it'll work. Um, the embroidery machine is kind of loud as well, um, but my sewing machine is pretty quiet overall. Um, so I don't think that'll be that big of an issue. So yeah, let's get to testing. Um, but right now I'm gonna kind of rearrange my machines cause I just kind of placed them down. I haven't really used them yet. So once I do that, I'll show you what they sound like before and after I use these mats. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right, so before I do that, I'm gonna open up the mats and kind of show you guys my first impressions. So this is the 17 by 24 mat. There's a sticker on it. Um, this is going to be for my embroidery machine. Hopefully it'll fit the whole entire thing. I have a feeling that it will. I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. If I can just open up this plastic here. <clears throat> that bad not to sound weird but sometimes these things can be a little smelly okay all right first impression it takes forever to take off this plastic but it definitely feels nice it's like a like a mushy mat sort of thing so I hope that it will do the trick but like I said um I'll include it in the link, a link in the description for where exactly I got this mat from, or these mats from, but it's from Amazon. And so I got this one separately, and then they also had like a two-pack deal, um, which was for my sewing machine and my serger. Oh my gosh. Try not to cut the mat here. All right, so here's for the embroidery machine. It might be a tight fit, but this is what it looks like. There's kind of the thickness to it. Oh, it does, does smell a bit, but um, you know, we'll see the difference with that. So, all right, now I'm gonna get my machines all set up and we'll hear what they sound like working. Okay, so I moved my embroidery machine over to the side table and I put my printer over here and I have everything plugged in. And for right now, I'm gonna use this desk kind of to organize my orders and rulers and miscellaneous things. So, okay, so I have the mat under the embroidery machine. As you can see, it doesn't quite fit, but I'm hoping it'll kind of help make a difference. So I have a baby blanket here that I want need to embroider for an order that's due tomorrow. So I have the, the design all pulled up Got my water soluble stabilizer and I pinned around the area because my machine tends to like to eat the water soluble stabilizer. So to prevent that, I put the pins down. So I guess let's just start stitching and I'm gonna embroider the name in yellow, which I got this thread from Joann's, 
because I left all my little little tiny threads like this at home. So let's get started and see if it makes a difference. somewhat hot mess of an apartment and then I'm closing the door and that's what it sounds like with the door closed so I think I might be good especially if you do have people that live next to you and you do have these mats I do think that it helps especially with vibration um, sound not as much especially if it's just kind of a loud machine in general so we'll come in here so yeah, I think it's a good idea to get if you do have people living next to you, just to kind of help even a little bit reduce the noise and the vibrations and stuff like that. So there it is stitching out, and like I said, once this is done, I'll show you the surgery. Alright, so now here I am at my serger. Here's the mat. I think it fits perfectly around it, and it covers the back as well, so the serger size fits perfectly. So now I'm going to start sewing. So I was going to show you kind of the before I put the mats under and after, but um, I don't really want to disturb my neighbors too much. So anything that I can do to reduce the noise, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so this is with the mat underneath. It might help if I put this up. There we go. All right, I'm going to try this uh, table next to me, actually, um, because this is vibrating a lot. So I'm going to try that, and hopefully that works. All right, now I'm a sturdy, at a sturdier table, so we'll try that again. All right, so now continuing, take three. Um, so like I said, I'm on the wooden table here, and I have the mat underneath it as well. It became unthreaded before, so I quickly had to go and rethread it. So now let's see how things work. Definitely sounds quieter. Okay, so that one is definitely much quieter. Um, it does vibrate, but I'm not surprised that it does. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this one for an apartment as well. Um, it definitely does help reducing noise. Um, it was definitely much louder when I was back at home and it was kind of in the same conditions like on a wooden table, so nothing really changed with that. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend the serger table or the serger size. Um, again, all the sizes that I use for each machine, I'll leave a link down in the description. But again, you can get this one and the sewing machine mat as a bundle. I don't know exactly remember the price, but I'll include that in the description as well. So, all right, now let's go to the sewing machine. All right, last but not least, we have the sewing machine. Uh, so this mat actually fits my machine perfectly. I thought it would be a little short, but it fits it great. Um, it fits it on both sides. And I also have the Juki 
TL 2010Q. I got this from Amazon, so if you have that machine or you kind of know the dimensions, that fits this mat perfectly. So now I'm going to start sewing the little divots for my skirt, or my dress, I mean. Get my thing here. Okay, this is definitely much quieter as well. Um, I actually meant to go to 3A, stayed at four. Um, but I definitely would recommend this mat for this machine as well. Um, I think just in general with plastic tables, I think they're going to vibrate. Um, so definitely in the future, I want to invest in some wooden tables. But if you have a nice sturdy wooden table, you shouldn't have that kind of vibration issue. Um, so I just kind of wanted to point that out. And now let's go over all of the different mats in general and which ones I think are the best and which one was the worst. All right, so again, excuse the mess in the background, but I'm really glad that I got these different mats for my machines, even if it makes the slightest difference. Um, it just kind of makes me feel better overall because again, I live in an apartment, um, and then although I'm fortunate that I don't have anyone next to my craft room here, um, you know, I don't want to disturb the people above me or below me or anything like that because I am on the second floor. Uh, so yeah, I overall would highly recommend these if you do have an apartment or if you have a house and you just don't want to have as much noise and vibration and just different things like that, um, I would definitely recommend as well, if you do have a flatbed machine like my embroidery machine here, I would probably put that on a separate table um, because although this one actually, I think it vibrates the, la the least out of all of my three machines here, um, but I just kind of like having it on a separate table just because obviously here I have my minky blanket here, so it does require um, a decent amount of space. Um, and then for the serger, again, definitely a wooden table as well. Um, back to the embroidery machine, um, although it does help reduce the vibration, which is really nice. Um, you know, it didn't make too much of a difference with the noise, uh, maybe because I haven't embroidered in a while and I don't exactly remember what the sound, or not what the sound is, but you know what I mean, like how loud it can get. Um, but yeah, I think that one is good for reducing vibration um, and not too much for sounds. So that was probably my, probably my least favorite. Um, I would have to say second place would be my sewing machine. Um, again, for the most part, all of the mats fit my different um, my machines and stuff like that, except as you saw in my embroidery machine, it was short a few inches. So just keep that in mind. If you do have a machine similar to mine, um, it probably would fit the P800, like if you have a five by seven embroidery machine. Um, but like I keep mentioning in all my videos, this machine does six by 10. Um, and please be sure to also check out, if you haven't already, my one year review on that machine as well. Um, I provide a lot of information as well as exactly where I got this machine from and my experience. But that's a random little tidbit there. So back to second place uh, would, would be my sewing machine, although I would say first and second are pretty close. Um, but my sewing machine, it's kind of quiet to begin with, um, but this, this um, mat does help make it quieter as well. Um, and hopefully once I get a new table and everything like that down the line, it'll help with the vibration. Um, but it does, I think it helps more with the sound compared to the vibration. Um, so that would be second place. And then for first place would definitely be my serger. Um, if you guys own a serger, you know how loud it is. It sounds like gunfire going off like nonstop. Um, but even going full blast with that mat, it made a huge difference. Um, and again, always use a wood table with your machines if you can. Um, but if you're on a budget, um, you know, you can put the embroidery and sewing machine on a table if you want. Um, but for serger, I would definitely recommend something sturdy. But it definitely does help significantly with noise. Um, I would say it cuts the noise in half. And as you guys saw in the one of my previous clips, I was going full blast. I wasn't like just going slow to be quiet. Like with all my machines here, I went full blast. So you kind of got the whole full experience. So again, I would definitely recommend them. Um, again, I got them from Amazon for my sewing machine and my embroidery machine. I got them in a bundle 
and then for the serger or no the sorry the sewing and the serger I got in a bundle and then the embroidery machine I bought separate but it's all from the same company um, so they have different size options that you can choose from um, but the embroidery machine one that I got is the largest mat that you can do um, so I thought well I think it was like 16 by 24 or I don't know don't quote me some definitely by 24 inches I remember so I thought oh that would fit my embroidery machine perfect um, so but it didn't um, you know maybe if it did fit it perfectly it would help with reducing noise more and all that um, I don't know but yeah like I said I would definitely recommend these if you're living in an apartment or you just kind of want to keep your machines much quieter and not disturb people or if you have kids or something and you don't want to wake them up during nap time or bedtime um, I think they are a good investment um, and for me I don't try not to buy things that are that expensive so they're they're definitely a decent price I don't remember off the top of my head how much they cost because I bought them a few weeks ago but again and down in the description below I'll include all the pricing and the links for them as well uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video Please leave a comment down below what other tutorials or work with me's or just kind of anything craft related you would like to see from this channel. I also do love to knit and crochet, so if those are of an interest to you as well, please let me know. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely planning on growing this channel even more and I'm really looking forward to creating videos in this craft room and I'm definitely planning on upgrading things slowly but surely so it's more functional um, and just works better for me because right now it's... I just moved in so I don't even know where to put everything it's kind of all a hot mess but yeah I just wanted to throw up a video for you guys to enjoy um, and yeah like I said please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing as well for more content and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye